Paul Carey, head coach of Barry Raiders, has just watched his side fall to a 34 defeat uh, here at Halifax. A uh, bit of a bad day at the office, was it, Paul, for you? Well, in a, in a way, yeah, and in a way, no. I thought it was four tries to one. Uh, they scored two tries on play on last tackle players in our half, and the, and the difference between the two sides was the kicking game. I um, mean, one one of them bounced off uh, Dean Pratt's legs and went into their arms. The other one should have been defended on the right edge, where he caught it, turned round, looked for the offload, and we spun off and he scored. Uh, another try was interception. So if you check them out, the equation there wasn't. We were our line wasn't broken. They were patient. And uh, they just marched downfield, got a penalty, kicked the goal. So it showed some respect to us. Um, but we lost. We've left six or seven of our top squad at, at home because you know this this program, the Easter program, is you know we probably targeted the Monday game rather than this game, and it was a chance to to see some of our uh, up and coming players play, and and they did really well at times, and and other times they lack that composure at this level, and and they learn from that. So. You know, there's no disgrace in, in the defeat. We could have had more composure, yeah, and, we, and a little bit of patience. I thought we panicked at times, but again, we never, never threw the towel in, and we defended our goal line man manfully, four and five sets at a time, and 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 the, and, the, and they got us on kicks at the back end of the game. So, you know, yeah, we could have brought our top squad here, but again. You know, if we'd have got injuries like we got tonight against Swinton, you know, would, we've got more chance now of beating Swinton than we had when we first got here. Mention injuries. What is the injury list like after tonight's game? Well, Danny Morris on a concussion. He's, I think he's broke his nose and his nose is split. Uh, Bradley, little Brad, we lost him early on, which was a bit of a blow. We had to release Dean Parata in the halves, and he's not really comfortable there. He, uh, he pulled his hamstring, and um, Brad Crellin's on a, on a concussion, and they weren't allowed back on the field. So probably for the last 30 minutes, we had one substitute um, so you know we didn't want that to happen because our middle have to, have to play or percentage of our middle have to play on Monday so it put a little bit of strain on, on, on the squad and, and, and I just thought like I say we, we come out of it with a few injuries and but we've got six or seven players to come in on for the Monday game yeah, uh, Gene Ormsby took his try well. The I thought he was outstanding tonight, Gene Ormsby. He, he gives us that desire and, and passion. Um, he's very, he's electric on the ball, and he knows where the try line is. He's scored, played two games, scored two tries, and he'll just get better and better. And he was an absolute steal for us. Um, and I think he, he's going to be good for the club. Um, we need Jamie Dallimore back uh, desperately as, as a natural half. Because I think we lack that we lack that leadership and and and, and our middle are taking us forward and tr and try to create the players for us. They did in the second half last week in in Nathan and and Danny Toll and people like that. But you know we, we'll be okay. You know it wasn't a target game for us and, and that's what you've got to do at this level um, to stay in this comp. We can we can try and win every game. We can burn our squad out. But sometime at some stage these kids are going to have to play. If, if we've got games and we'll use them and try and develop them in, in this way, whether it's right or wrong, we try to keep this 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 club in this division. And like I say, chance to make quick amends on the East Monday. Yeah, definitely. We, you know, we'll be different. We've gone twenty, nearly twenty-three months unbeaten at home. You know, Swinton know that. Our boys know that. We've got John O'Smith to come in, Martin Aspinwall, Jamie Dallimore, Jared Stack. You know, to name to name a few. Matt, um, Carl Ashall, people like that to come in to come into our team. Uh, Joe Bullock was missing tonight as well. He's a, he's been playing great for us. So these players are going to come in and fresh on Monday, and we'll need them to to, to bring that to the party so that, that it triggers a response from the lads that have done it tough tonight. And it was tough tonight. You know they said through the middle it was real tough, but they were desperate for a win at home, and they've been in this division for long enough to learn what it's all about. And and they learned how to grind tonight, and it's something we've got to learn to do. We can't score off every player. Even with a minute to go on the clock, we try to force the ball in our own 20 rather than get down, see the game out and, and go in at 30 points to four rather than going at 36 points to four because it might come in, into points difference. But a big big word we talked about was composure at half time. You can't come to these places and compete at 45% completions. You can't do it. They were 86% and desperate for a win. So we've got to learn from that. And these young fellas out there have got to learn from that as well. But, you know, we're all in it together and I think they've done magnificently well up to now. Uh, you know, if we win on Monday, it's great. We've got seven points in the bag, but we need to be at our best on Monday to beat Swinton because there'll be no mugs either. Of course. Uh, any valuable lessons picked up from tonight's game? 
Well, yeah, just like I said, we've just got to learn to grind and, and, and kick the ball a little bit better. We put some little cross-field kicks in on the first few sets that split our defence and they're, and they're on the on the ascendancy straight away rather than knocking it into a corner. You know, Scott Morrell just knocks it into a corner. We call it five from five, five metres off the goal line, five metres from the touch line and pin you there and work hard to get the reward. That means starting their set on a good ball. We split, the, we split their attack so it's difficult to defend. And, it, and, and we put nothing kicks in and it puts us under tremendous pressure so we've got to learn that but having said that we haven't got natural halves that can do that we're, we're running with kids uh, hookers and full backs and we're expecting them to invent the wheel and they're not going to do it so you know we get Delhi back this week we get Jared Stack back and, and Martin Aspinwall and people like that it'll make us a little bit stronger and give us that little bit of a short kicking game and a little bit of direction is what we need and without them we've done extremely well but, you know, we need him back in the team. Well, thanks again, Paul Crary, head coach, Barry Rivers. Thanks. Top. Yeah. All right. Uh, just, just kept going. Uh, Matty Holmes, obviously, playing again, um, playing again tonight, our first game since September 2016. So. It's been great just to just have yeah it was and, and and I said to them fellows that were coming back in there's no pressure Matty on you it's about you getting back into the game he's been very unlucky um, in his injuries and uh, and he carried the ball real strong he probably didn't carry the ball enough but he was strong when he carried the ball so you know Matty's a, a big plus that come out tonight because he'll do a job similar to John Smith if he goes down if, if uh, Danny Morris injured now um, you know he might have to because I don't think Jared we work and go to Toulouse so one of them fellas have gone have to fill in so we need to get them back playing and it's a very very rigorous league league where there's a lot of injuries so so we've got to get these kids playing in case we pull up some senior players that are injured and we can get them back you know with this program of coming here and getting on at midnight tonight in a short turnaround we've rested a lot of players and hopefully our fans and and, and, and that can understand what we're trying to do and we'll be ready and fresh for monday's game yeah and, uh, i suppose what it's uh it's perhaps an even bigger learning curve for kids like kids like Mike Holmes and Matty Wild being thrown into this sort of mm. environment. But yeah, hopefully they can they can benefit from that. Yeah, probably. definitely, and and they'll only get better with the opportunity. You know, I said to him, I've given them an opportunity. Whether they take that and knock on the, on on the top squad's door, that's up to them. You know, but we're giving every chance to do that. I think Matty was a little bit. You know, down on himself in the changing room, you know, in the game. But again, he's not playing with the top, the top players of our club. He's having to do it tough with lads that are coming back for injury. So it always puts pressure on them, them lads to perform. And 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 I don't want them to beat themselves up. It's all a learning curve for them. They're down down the track for this club, and we haven't forgot about them. But it, it was it, the Easter program allows us to do that. We got to target certain games, like Richard said. If they don't go to Dewsbury and win, this is for nothing. Whereas we've just got to target our games and win them against the teams around us and if we do that we've got a chance of staying in this competition.